This is a video by Richpin. Today we're working on a 1971 Volkswagen Beetle. Boy, what a blast from the past this vehicle is. I used to work on tons of these. What we're doing today is we're replacing the muffler. So the first thing we need to do is get the back of the car up in the air. Now after we get it up in the air, the first thing we need to do is to get our hoses out of the way. We'll start with this one right here which is the preheater hose and you might have clamps and you might not. And If you do you want to loosen your clamps. That's the preheater hose and now we have the hoses that run down from the um, fan shroud to our muffler. This is the ones that give us our heat. There's one on the left and then there's one on the right. Now after we get the hoses off we have these little pieces of metal here, these little clamps that uh, go on to the tin work that is over the muffler. This one right here you'll either have two or three. A lot of them this age will have that. The third one we won't even, uh, most of the time I never used to put the third one in right here. Just the uh, two on the cl on the clamp itself right here and uh, those uh, of course those screws should be just a regular regular single groove flat screw right there and that's the one on the right and if we look over here we can see the other one on the left just take it out just like that no big deal comes right out and after we get those out, we have, uh, there'll be a screw right here. A lot of times we'll eliminate those, the end ones right there. And you have one there, and we have one here that I took out. And over here we have one right there. And then there are two right here. Uh, this forward one holds on the uh, pipe for the preheater. So those are all the screws that hold the tin work on right here, the back tin work. Now this one right here, this particular car right here is a semi-automatic. That's a whole new store or in, a, in itself. Now here is the line that uh, runs down to the pump. And that goes through the tin work. There is a 17 millimeter right there and a 19 millimeter jam nut. So we'll hold the jam. Okay, now to take that hose out of there, we'll put our 19 right there to hold the jam and put our 17 on the hose. And take that right out of there. And sometimes a little ATF comes out, in this case, none. We'll put that right on top of the generator right there. Now, the um, that jam that's got to come out there too, and most of the time they'll give you no problem. Of course, I've through the years I've done a lot of maintenance on this particular vehicle, so I've made sure that all the screws had a little grease on them so they wouldn't corrode. See that, that GM that came out there, no problem. Now we're ready to uh, take that tin out of there. Now sometimes that tin likes to hang up on the rubber seal back here. So make sure you get a little screwdriver just in case you're gonna pry it out. There she be. Not too difficult. Now the next thing we need to do is take the 10 millimeter nuts off the heat riser. This is the heat riser that comes down to the muffler. Now what will happen a lot of times is they'll snap but what they, they tap into the muffler so that's no big deal. So if they snap don't worry about it. And that's the one on the right side. 
and we need to take those off now and when we're done there we have the heat riser over here on the left side same thing two 10 millimeter nuts that hold it to the uh, pipe that runs down to the muffler so we need to take those 10 millimeter bolts off now all right now the next thing we need to do is get underneath the car and this clamp right here we have to remove it just take a flat bladed screwdriver and what I like to do when I remove this clamp oh and through the years these clamps used to rust on look how easy that came out because I made sure that I put brand new ones on or I would clean the threads now do this take the clamp and slide it up on top of the muffler and tighten it back up reason being is so when you take the muffler off you can put it in the exact same position over the years I've put them in different positions and the screw was way down here and but do that and you'll get it right back into the same position the next thing we need to remove are these muffler clamps right here that secure the muffler to the heater box there are 10 millimeter nuts that are on there and there are two clamps on both sides of the muffler uh, these will probably break off and and uh, it will be much quicker if they do so don't worry about it you'll have probably new clamps with your muffler anyways hopefully you will so we need to take those off now now the next step this is where it all goes wrong for most people where the muffler bolts to the cylinder head on both sides there are two 13 millimeter headed nuts I think hopefully you can see the top one right here and there's one on the bottom you have to get the top ones from the top and then get the bottom ones from underneath now over the years when I first started doing this I would snap these nuts off because they like to corrode and of course to fix that the motor has to come out and that's no fun so put your wrench on there if it does not move with moderate pressure put some heat on it that's a must do and you will not snap the nut that way so we need to take the two on this side and the two on the other side right now one last thing on the bottom nuts the right hand one right here is a little bit tight so uh, I like to use the uh, carburetor wrench they uh, they make a, a special wrench for that my father has one but I never went and bought one all I did was I took a, a 13 millimeter wrench heated it up and bent it in this configuration and what that does is helps you get in there and to remove that bottom nut so I just wanted to uh, pass that along alright after you've got those last four 13 millimeter head nuts out the muffler should come out there shouldn't be anything else holding it I like to just take a big rubber hammer and oh watch out for that um, that heat riser tube can you see it right here that heat riser tube will come down so be careful on that okay we're loose make sure you get that up there oh yeah and this little tin right there okay And there's the muffler, she's all out. While we're underneath here, now's a good time to take these gaskets off the heater box.
course they don't want to come off. Okay, now we got that one and we've got one on the other side. We've got to take off. Now one thing I like to do before I put my new muffler on, once I take the old gasket off here, is I like to take the correct die for the threads, which is eight millimeter. 1.25 pitch and I like to run it over the threads on both sides so that I know I have clean threads. Now when you get your new muffler make sure you inspect it closely you'll find little problems here and there that have to be addressed before you put it on. Now this one right here I can see that there is a problem with the little heater box here we got a little dimple where it is not completely round. In shipping, it was bent. So we need to straighten that out. Okay. We got that, and another thing you want to do is they paint these things like crazy, so make sure that this thing is free to move around, because when you get it underneath there, you're going to want to adjust it. Okay, we can move that one. Now, here's another thing that I like to do. They paint these things so much that um, the uh, threads right in here on the... Um, the heat riser tube, it gets all filled with paint. So take yourself a tap. This is a uh, six millimeter, 1.00. All right, now we want to start transferring some of the stuff from the old muffler to the new. And these little clamps right here. We'll loosen those off. I'm going to try to get them right on the same position as the other one. Tighten those up just a little bit. They won't slide off. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other one right up here. Next we need to transfer these sleeves from the old one to the new one. that one and we need to do the same thing to the other one all right now we've got to transfer the sleeve over to the new muffler now sometimes like on this muffler right here it's not as good as quality as the uh, German ones we used to get sometimes you gotta tweak this little flange right here so it expand it so the sleeve will fit in. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Now the end of the heater boxes, it wouldn't be a bad idea to clean them up a bit with a little wire brush. I would do that to both sides. Okay, now our uh, new muffler has all the parts we transferred, so we can put that back up into position. OK, 
Okay, that side is on the studs. Now, we got it loosely in there. Okay, now we can pull out the muffler just a little bit and put in that preheater pipe. That's in place. Okay, sometimes you run into this problem with the heat riser mating to the muffler. This one does not line up too well. Not a very good quality muffler. Now, but what we did is we got one bolt in, but we cannot get the other one in. So what we're gonna do is take our little pry bar and we're gonna tweak that over a little bit. I can't see what I'm doing. I can only feel it. And there it is. I got it started. I hope I wasn't in the way so you could see it. So we got that side done. Now what I should have told you before was make sure the gasket's underneath there, but I'm sure you figured that out. That the gasket has to be underneath there. And now... We have to do the other side over there the same way. And hopefully that will line up better. Okay, now that we've got our heat riser bolts in, we can tighten these main 13 millimeter nuts that secure the muffler to the cylinder. All right, now we've got to put our clamp on the gasket here, make sure it's pushed all the way in. Now, on your clamps, some of the quality um, German clamps had different diameters because you can see that the diameter on the muffler is larger than the heater box. Those are the really good clamps. Now, let's take a look at these right here. Now, these look like the same. Yeah, see? You could tell on the good ones, you could see it was lower than the other one so this one it doesn't matter which way you put it on make sure that that metal part of the gasket is underneath the clamp Okay, yeah, look at that. It's right where it should be. Okay, now we'll tighten that one down and put one on the other side. All right, now we need to uh, loosen that clamp that we tightened and slid up. I remember that clamp. This isn't enough, so... Okay, there we go. Now... More or less what this clamp does, it seals the um, two heater boxes together. You get this small heater box and you get the main one right here. This dark one is the main one. There we go. Now we gotta go over there and do the other side. We're ready to put our tailpipes on. Now, I might get slammed for this, but this is the way I've been doing it for years. Right where the receiver meets the uh, muffler right here, 
slide it up just like that slide my gasket like so and give it a little reference mark right there then we put the tailpipe in and just like that okay now we want to uh, slide the metal part of the gasket on just like that all right Take that, see if we got it. Yeah, we got it in position. There. Now, all we have to do is tighten it up and uh, do the same thing to the other side. Now, before you're done with the tailpipes, <clears throat> grab yourself a center punch and right here on the receiver. There, that will set that tailpipe in the receiver and that won't pull out now. Do the same thing to the other side. All right, now just a matter of putting our tin work on here and putting our hoses back and that's it. We just changed a muffler on a Volkswagen Beetle.